Just a few hours ago, it felt like there was no shot for college baseball on this Friday afternoon in Oxford and Mississippi, but the rain has stopped. It's still gray. The grounds crew has done an unbelievable job getting Swayze Field ready for baseball as we get set to begin a three-game series. Ole Miss first home weekend series of the year hosting at the UCF Knights. Nikhazy, we know so much about him. Rocky start last week, but trying to bounce back today. The sky has looked. No balls, two strikes, swing and a miss. That's strikeout number five for Doug Nikhazy in two innings. Wood, ground ball up the middle, behind the back. Nice flip to second base. The throw to first in time for the double play. Far early with his mechanics, too. Bench pops it up. Shallow right field, second baseman overran it. Runner goes, pretty good jump by Bench. The throw to second, not in time. So they didn't get the tag on him. Up. And he hits this one into shallow left center field, sinking line drive that falls in for a base hit. Third hit of the game for Ole Miss, second time that Van Cleve has been on safely. At first, a 3-2 count with two down. There go the runners. This ball lined up the middle, a base hit for Cale Baker, and Ole Miss is going to get on the board. Van Cleve comes around to score. Now Baker going to be able to get back to first base because nobody's covering the bag. He had made a big, <laughs> aggressive turn. RBI single for Cale Baker, and Ole Miss leads 1-0. Two-thirds, a strike away from getting out of the inning. The 2-2, swing and a miss. That's strikeout number six. Rees frustrated. High fly ball hit to left field. Graham going back, gets to the warning track, reaches up, and it's gone, and we are tied at one. Jordan Rathbone, who just made the move out to right field, sends one into the left field bullpen. That is the first mistake of the game. Run on two hits for UCF today. Here's a high fly ball to left field. On the run is Graham, the left fielder. He gets to the wall, and that's another solo home run. And UCF is now in front. Josh Crouch goes deep. Two solo home runs here in the top of the seventh inning, and the Knights are out in front for the first time today. Last year, all of Austin Miller's appearances came in relief. He worked 13 innings, 19 strikeouts, five walks, a 2.08 ERA. The senior comes in. Throw Rocker on short rest today. Bounce in the dirt. Dunhurst throws to first in time to get the pickoff. At there he goes. It's a pitch out. The throw to second is in time. Pena caught stealing. Taylor Broadway into the game for Ole Miss out of the bullpen. It's the second appearance of this season. You see there the numbers from last year in which he was 2-0 with 18 strikeouts and three walks and a 0.56 earned run average last year. Made his debut last week and pitched very, very well against TCU for Ole Miss. He is, but McCabe squares early to bunt. And he bunts it right back to the mound. They'll throw to third and throw it away. And that's going to allow a run to come home and score. That one gets away from Taylor Broadway. Or Connor Allen. He squares, bunts it back to the mound. Safety squeeze, shuffle throw to the plate, and an out at home. Count pitch, runners will go. Strike three called. Ruiz goes away looking. Broadway gets a strikeout to end the inning. Full count. Dunhurst lifts it to left field. That's pretty well hit, and that is gone! A solo shot, opposite field from Hayden Dunhurst, and the Rebels aren't dead yet. What a great piece of hitting. Feeding the Swayze faithful with some oppo tacos here in the bottom of the ninth. Takes that sinker down and away and just drives it to the right field, or the left field pole, man. The one, two to Leatherwood. Chops it right side, fielded by the second baseman. He goes to short for the short out. A force out at second base, a fielder's choice from Leatherwood, and UCF takes game number one of the three-game series this weekend in Oxford. First loss of the season, and that snaps a 20-game winning streak for Ole Miss. Their last loss came on Valentine's Day a year ago in the season opener to Louisville.